the purpose of the workshop today is to learn about the savings portion of the Safer College program and the two college and career savings account options that are available for the Safer College program's benefits and features. Those two are a New York 529 program direct plan account and an amalgamated Safer College bank account. You will also receive tools that can help you make the right decision for you and your family, and you can connect with our staff to answer your questions and help with the website application for the New York 529 direct plan account, should you choose this account. And this is our agenda for today. And we're gonna to be covering all these topics. We'll start off with a brief overview of the Safer College program. Then we'll move into college and career savings account options. Then a deep dive into the New York 529 direct plan. After that, a deep dive into the amalgamated Stay for College program bank account. And finally, some next steps and resources. Now, by attending this workshop, you are taking another important step in planning for your child's college and career training. Students who graduate from college earn a significantly higher salary over their lifetimes and are less likely to be unemployed. If you do decide to open an account, starting early means you will save more over time and may reduce the amount of student loan debt you and your child have later on. Remember, studies show that children with even one to $500 set aside in a savings account for college are three times more likely to enroll in college and more than four times more likely to graduate. And all that to say is that small steps can make a big difference. Let's kick off with talking about how the Save for College program works. Now, while we were waiting for the session to start, you received a brief refresher on the Safer College program by watching our introductory video. Through the Safer College program, NYC Kids Rise, students, families, schools, neighbors, and systems across the city can work together to build a financial foundation and support expectations for each student's futures. The foundation of the program is an automatic NYC scholarship account with funds for college and career training made available to every kindergartner, regardless of income or immigration status. With this new NYC scholarship account already in place, families can also open an account on their own for their child's benefit and start saving early in the ways and amounts that make sense for their budget and financial circumstances. Families are not alone in supporting students' futures. Through different types of community support, Local organizations, businesses, and individuals in each neighborhood and throughout the city can build upon expectations of success for students and even contribute to their NYC scholarship accounts through community scholarships. The NYC Kids Rise Safer College Program has a two account structure. It is both a scholarship and a savings account. Every kindergartner automatically receives a New York City scholarship account invested in a 529 plan with an initial $100 unless their family chooses not to participate. The NYC scholarship account is owned by NYC Kids Rise on behalf of your child, and it is also where contributions or community scholarships from community members gets allocated. Families can earn up to $200 more in rewards in the NYC scholarship account by taking specific steps. Then there is the savings account, which is the focus of today's workshop. Through the program, families can open a New York 529 direct plan account or an amalgamated Safer College bank account to start saving their own funds in the amounts that make sense for them. Now, unlike the NYC scholarship account, the savings account is owned by the family and is where parents and guardians can make contributions. You can also invite friends and family members to make contributions directly to this savings account. And as you can see from how the scholarship and savings accounts both work, the Save for College program is not just about families saving their own money. That is only one part of it. It's about working together. What NYC Kids Rise can contribute, what neighbors and community members can contribute, what families can contribute, what school communities can contribute, and what institutions and systems throughout the city can come together to contribute, to make sure that every child 
has the resources and support they need to succeed. We're gonna pause here and see if there are any questions about how the program works. Please use the Q&A and Samira will read these questions out loud. Thank you, Sebastian. We have a question from a parent. Um, they're asking if they already have a New York 529 account, can you deposit the scholarship in an existing account? Yeah, that's a great question, right? And there's a couple of layers there to it. One, if you have a New York 529 direct plan account, you are able to connect that to our online platform called the Savings Tracker. And that's where you can see both the scholarship and the savings account in the same place. Now, I wanna make clear that this NYC scholarship account and your college and career savings account are two separate accounts. Uh, the NYC scholarship account is owned and operated by NYC Kids Rise, and the funds in there will only be withdrawn once the child is ready to use them for college and career training. They are not to be transferred to another kind of an account. Uh, Samira, I don't know if you wanted to add anything to that. No, this is this is great. And then you know, today's workshop we're going to cover in more details about the account options that are available to you in a couple of minutes. So definitely stay throughout the workshop and we'll definitely give you more information about the options that are available through the Safer College program. Um, Sebastian, looks like we have a couple of more questions from parents. The first question is, are these scholarships only available for public school students? Yeah, great question. Uh, so this year is a very exciting year for us. So this year, all kindergarten students citywide uh, are able to participate in the program as long as they're in a New York City public school or a participating charter school here in the city. Uh, so if your child uh, doesn't go to a public school but goes to a charter school, please check uh, with your charter school to see if they participate in the Safer College program. Thanks, Sebastian. Looks like we have a couple of more questions. Um, from parents regarding activation of the account. Um, you know, parents are saying they're going to the website, but they're not able to find information. So can you just help clarify that, you know, when parents can activate the accounts? Yeah, uh, we are very excited uh, to be uh, working with parents in order to activate their accounts. Uh, that for new kindergarten students uh, that are just joining the program, uh, the time to activate the account will come later this spring. So please keep a lookout for that. We'll talk a little bit more about it, but when that time comes, when it's time to activate and view your child's NYC scholarship account, uh, you'll be receiving a welcome email as long, along with a welcome kit through the mail uh, with more information about the program in general and also how to take that first step uh, in the program. Great, thanks, Sebastian. I think we have a few more questions about the accounts, but I think as you go in the next section, we will be able to answer those. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Some great initial questions there for sure. Uh, feel free to keep on adding your questions in the Q&A. We'll have some more times to pause and acknowledge those questions. Let's talk about the building blocks. So the foundational steps of the program are called the building blocks. Building block one, as we mentioned previously, is activating and viewing your child's NYC scholarship account. The NYC scholarship accounts for this year's eligible kindergartners will be ready to activate and view later this spring. At that time, parents and guardians will receive a welcome email and welcome kit from NYC Kids Rise with information on next steps. And like I said, we are very excited and eager to work with every new kindergarten family very soon. Building block two is opening and connecting your own college and career savings account for the benefit of your child. And building block three is making the first deposit into your new account. Each building block is worth $25 for a total of $75 more in your child's NYC scholarship account. Our focus today is building block two. We are learning about the options available for completing building block two. Even if you have not yet completed building block one, you can still learn about these options and make a decision to open an account. 
Once your NYC scholarship account is activated, you can then log back in and connect your newly opened college and career savings account. Today, you will be receiving information, not financial advice. This program provides you with an opportunity to open one of two college and career savings account options that can be connected to your child's scholarship account. Taking this step is also known as building block two. Completing the step means earning an additional $25 reward for your child's NYC scholarship account. There are many other ways to save besides these two college and career savings account options. We cannot and will not provide investment advice of any type or tell you what we think you should or should not do regarding your financial options. Every family's financial, circumstance, financial circumstances are different. You should learn more about each of these types of accounts and consider your own circumstances before opening an account. We can connect you with tools and resources to help you understand options so that you can choose the right account for you and your family. We have a couple of uh, tools here for you to explore. You can go to our website, nyckidsrise.org slash options. You can visit a New York City Financial Empowerment Center to book a free confidential one-on-one -on -one appointment with a counselor who can help you understand your options and make a plan to start saving. To schedule an appointment, you can call 311 or visit nyc.gov slash DCA. You can contact the New York 529 offices uh, for detailed information about New York 529 direct plan accounts. You can visit their website or call the number you see on your screen, 877-697-2837. And you can also contact the Amalgamated Bank for detailed information about the Amalgamated Safe College Bank accounts. You can visit one of their branches or call the number that you see on your screen. Now to find an amalgamated branch, you can visit their website, amalgamatedbank.com slash findbranchatm. And do not worry, we will share this information in a follow-up email after this session. Okay, great. So let's do a quick review here. Uh, Samir is going to launch a poll with three true and false questions. Uh, please choose the answers you think are right. And don't worry, the poll is completely anonymous. So try your best and we'll review them once you have wrapped up. So in a moment, it'll show up automatically in your screen. Thank you. Just a few more seconds here. So start wrapping up your answers. Okay, great. Uh, so Samir is gonna end the poll now and we will review this quick quiz. So number one, the scholarship account is where the initial $100 is allocated and where you can earn rewards and the community can contribute money to your child's college and career training future. The correct answer there is true. And it looks like the majority of you got that right. Number two, the savings account is an account that you own and where you can save your own money for your child's college and career training future. 83% of you said true. And again, that's exactly what the savings account is designed to do. And number three, the Save for College program offers a savings account through any bank in New York City. 75% of you answered false. 
And that is correct. The correct answer there is false. Uh, we only offer two accounts that can be connected uh, to the scholarship account. And again, that's the New York 529 direct plan, and the amalgamated Safer College Bank account. All right, so thank you very much. It looks like the majority of you got that right. I'm very happy to see that. Let's move on to talk about college and career savings account options. College and career savings are an important part of any family's financial picture, and there are many account options to choose from. The Safer College program provides an opportunity for families to open one of two college and career savings accounts options that can be connected to their child's NYC scholarship account, a New York 529 direct plan account, or an amalgamated Safer College bank account. Now, before we compare these account options, I want to make sure you know what is true no matter which account you pick. First, there is no minimum amount required to open either of the accounts. You can open an account with $0 and keep it open with $0. The only caveat is that Amalgamated Bank or New York 529 may close your account if the balance is still $0 after six months for New York 529 or nine months for Amalgamated of having the account open. To solve this problem, you can deposit a penny. Next, there are no other requirements for how much you have to save or how often you have to save. Thirdly, you can make deposits via check, money order, or by electronically connecting a checking account. Fourth, family members and friends can help you save by depositing directly into these accounts on your child's behalf. And finally, you can earn the same rewards for opening either of these accounts and saving in them. To start, we will be discussing two broad categories of savings accounts. Let's start by talking about a 529 account. This account is an account specifically designed to help families save for college and career training. Money in this account can grow over time, but can also lose value depending on the market. And this account comes with tax benefits. Let's compare that to a college savings bank account. This is an account that allows families to save safely at an insured financial institution. Interest can be earned on the money in this account. Deposits in this account are insured up to $250,000. And this account does not come with tax benefits. Now, there are some differences between saving for college and career training in a 529 account and a bank savings account. For a 529 account, money in this account is specifically marked for higher education expenses. Withdrawals from this account may incur tax penalties if the money is not used for higher education expenses, and money in this account changes with the market. Compare that to a college savings bank account. For this account, there are no legal restrictions on the uses of money in this account. There are no withdrawal penalties with this account, and money in this account will earn interest at a steady rate. I'm going to take another pause here to see if there are any questions about either of these types of accounts so far. Please go ahead and use the Q&A to share your questions, and Samira will read them out loud. Thank you, Sebastian. Um, looks like we do have a couple of questions. Um, the, the first set of questions, I think it would be helpful if you can clarify the eligibility of the program. Um, we have some parents who are first graders and second graders. So if you can again repeat um, one more time the eligibility for the program. Yeah, definitely. And something very important to know. Uh, so starting this year, all kindergarten students in a New York City public school or a participating charter school are eligible for the program. For folks that are in school district 30, students between kindergarten and fourth grade are eligible to participate in the program. Thank you, Sebastian. 
And just to clarify for, for families who are currently in school district 30, if you are new, first through fourth graders, you're also eligible. So as Sebastian mentioned earlier, all kindergarten families and any new first through fourth grade families in school district 30 will be receiving a welcome kit and a welcome email later this spring semester. So just stay tuned for that and then you'll be able to access your scholarship account once you receive uh, information from us. Um, the next question we have, Sebastian, is um, from a parent and they're asking, should everybody have both accounts? Um, so I'm not sure exactly if they're referring to the scholarship or savings, but I think it'll be worth explaining the difference between the two and also mentioning the two savings account options that are available. Yeah, it's a great question, right? And every family's financial circumstance is different, right? We're not here to give any type of financial advice. Uh, what I can say is that we're here to give information uh, like this workshop, right? You can visit our website and it gives you an idea of what would be best for you and your family's financial circumstance. Um, the two accounts, again, that we have available are a New York 529 direct plan and an amalgamated Safer College Bank account. Uh, we'll be talking in more detail about it later on as the workshop goes on, but if you still have questions about it, right, if you still have any doubts, you can feel free to give us a call. Also, again, check out our website or call 529 uh, offices or the Amalgamated Safe College um, offices in order to learn more about the options you have available. Thanks, Sebastian. And just to add, um, you do not have to have a savings account in order to receive the NYC scholarship account. So you will have, you'll automatically receive the NYC scholarship account. And then if you're interested and would like to open a savings account, we have these two options available. And again, it's completely up to you to decide which account makes sense for you. We're gonna be providing details about both accounts, but at the end of the day, you can decide what works best for you, but it is not required or mandatory for, for you to open this account in order to have the scholarship account. You can still have the scholarship account without you know, opening up a savings account, but we will be providing information so that you can make a decision that, that works best for you. We don't have any other questions, Sebastian, um, at this time. Okay, great. Um, once again, parents, feel free to continue to leave your questions in the Q&A. I quickly want to mention this. Uh, there are other ways to save besides these two types of savings accounts that we have covered today. Families can explore these other options. 529 plans offered by other states, savings accounts offered by other banks, or other types of investment accounts. An important note, the specific features and benefits of the Safer College program are available for the two options under the Safer College program. Special features and benefits include earning rewards for connecting your account, earning rewards for making a deposit of at least $5 into your account, and connecting your savings account to your child's NYC scholarship account. All right. Now, let's focus on the New York 529 Direct Plan in a bit more detail. Let's start off with what is a New York 529 direct plan account. This type of account is a state-sponsored investment plan of New York's 529 college savings program. Now an investment is a mix of stocks and bonds. A stock can be thought, can be thought of as owning a piece of a company. A bond is a loan from a corporation or the government. Sometimes bonds are also called fixed income. And with this account, type of account, there it's able to gain or lose value over time, depending on the market. This type of account is where the New York City scholarship accounts are invested. This is also where you are able to be connected with your New York City scholarship account and viewed on the savings tracker. This type of account is where your money can grow tax-free until it is taken out. Then this type of account is where the earnings will not be taxed at all 
if used for qualified higher education expenses. And just so you know, earnings are how much the money you deposit in the account grows over time. What can the funds in a New York 529 direct plan be used for? Money in this account can only be used for higher education expenses at eligible institutions. An eligible institution includes schools eligible for federal financial aid and can include four-year college and universities, so schools in New York, such as SUNY, CUNY, or other public or private colleges across the country, colleges across the country and abroad. An eligible institution also includes two-year colleges, such as community colleges. And some examples in our uh, neighborhood include LaGuardia Community College or Borough of Manhattan Community College. An eligible institution also includes career and vocational training programs, such as culinary school, theological seminaries, massage therapy, beauty school, medical assistant programs, et cetera, et cetera that meet specific eligibility requirements. Money saved in a 529 account can be used at most US colleges, universities, graduate schools, and technical programs, and some international ones as well. Some eligible educational institutions also have programs and supports in place for students with special needs. And for a full list of that, uh, you can follow up uh, by reading our follow-up email, which we will provide after this workshop. Families can use this money for tuition and certain other expenses, such as fees, equipment, some room and board expenses, textbooks, and for a current list of eligible schools, uh, you can they can be found online by visiting the website you see on that screen. And that includes some schools in New York, some schools across the United States, and some schools internationally. So any questions about this? Uh, please go ahead and use the Q&A and Samira will read some of them out loud. Thanks, Sebastian. Uh, we have a question actually of what you just covered, if you can just repeat it one more time. Is fund in 529 account only eligible for tuition for public and private school? Yeah, great questions. Um, so this is a great slide to, to land on. Um, the money can be used for tuition and certain other expenses. And again, that includes some fees, some equipment, uh, some room and board expenses, textbooks, uh, and not only for private institutions, but also uh, for public institutions as well. And also don't forget uh, that vocational training uh, can also be included as an eligible expense for the New York 529 direct plan. Thank you, Sebastian. I do not see any more questions. Okay, great. So let's move on. What information do I need to open a New York 529 direct plan. To enroll in the New York 529 direct plan, both the account owner and beneficiary will need to be a US citizen or resident alien and have the following information. A valid social security number or individual taxpayer identification number, also known as an ITIN, birth date for the account owner and the beneficiary, and an email address to enroll online. To let you know, New York State will see the data you share. It's important to note that when the New York 529 Direct Plan uses the term resident alien, they do not mean the US Customs and Immigration Services definition. They mean the IRS definition. You will be considered a United States resident for tax purposes if you have a green card or meet the substantial presence test for the calendar year. You can check the IRS website or call the New York 529 hotline to verify this information. And we will provide you with this information via a follow-up email after this workshop. Now you've heard the terms account 
owner and beneficiary a lot uh, today. And I just want to review what these terms mean. An account owner can be any adult with a social security number or ITIN number, not just the child's parent or guardian. If the account owner is not you, make sure it is someone you can trust. The account owner will control who can take money out of the account, and there can only be one account owner. The beneficiary is the child who can use the money in the account for qualified expenses. Let's talk about the tax benefits associated with the New York 529 direct plan. If you use the money in this account for eligible education expenses, you will not pay state or federal income taxes on the earnings. A married couple filing jointly can take up to a $10,000 per year New York state tax deduction for contributions to a New York 529 plan account, the New York 529 direct plan. Single filers can take up to a $5,000 New York state tax deduction. Okay, great. Uh, so let's review what we have learned so far about the New York 529 direct plan account. Samira is now going to launch a four question poll. Uh, please answer it to the best of your ability. Once again, your answers will be completely anonymous and we'll have time afterwards to review the right answers. Thank you. Okay, a few more seconds, so I'll start hitting that submit button. All right, we are going to wrap up poll number four here. Thank you very much. And let's review what we have learned so far. Question one here, when I open a 529 account, my money will be invested in the market. 67% uh, of you answered true, and that is correct. Uh, remember folks, a 529 account is a type of investment account. Number two, I do not need to have a social security number or ITIN to open a New, a New York 529 account. The correct answer here is false, and 83% of you got it correct, so I'm glad to see that. Um, we can move on here. Number three, I can use the money I have saved in my child's 529 account to pay for tuition and certain other expenses, such as fees, equipment, room and board, textbooks, etc. A hundred percent of you answered true, and that is also correct. I'm glad all of you folks got this right. And finally, number four, colleges at which I can use the savings from my child's 529 account have to be four-year colleges. 83% of you answered false, and that is correct. It's not only four years, there are many other types of eligible institutions as well. So nope, thank you very much for participating in this fourth poll. We appreciate that. 
Hopefully it's a little fun for you as well. Now, before we continue and talk about the Amalgamated Safer College Bank account, uh, I want to share this last slide, which is a disclosure from the New York 529 Direct Plan that we must share with you. So please take a moment to review it on your own. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the Amalgamated Safer College Bank account. Now we will offer you information about the College Savings Bank account. This is a bank savings account at Amalgamated Bank owned by a parent, guardian, or other family member with a child named as the beneficiary. To open this type of account, families can visit any amalgamated bank branch in New York City. What is a college savings bank account? Well, an amalgamated safer college bank account allows families to save safely at an insured financial institution and earn interest on the money. Insured financial institution means that money in this account is federally insured up to $250,000. Federally insured means that if something happens to the bank, the money will still be there for you. This type of account is a savings account owned by a parent or guardian with a child name as the beneficiary. And this type of account requires the account owner to have a social security number or individual tax identification number, also known as an ITIN. Any questions so far? Uh, please. Uh, once again, go ahead and use the Q&A, and Samira will read your questions out loud. Thank you, Sudarshan. Um, we do actually have a question from a parent. Um, so they're asking, the tax benefits will be only on the earnings, so the contribution will be after tax. Uh, can you go back to the um, slide and just review one more time the tax benefits? Yeah, sure. Uh, so the contributions made into this account are after tax and the tax benefits are coming from the earnings. Right? So the earnings grow tax free. And if the earnings are used for qualified educational expenses, they can also be withdrawn tax free. Thanks, Sebastian. This is Marie. Um, just wanted to jump in with one additional tax benefit that, that folks should know about for the 529. For those New York residents, uh, you can get a 5, 000, up to a $5,000 deduction on your New York state taxes and up to $10,000 for married filing as a married uh, couple on New York state taxes, in addition to the tax-free growth in, in the respective year. So um, more information on that is available at uh, the New York 529 site as well, and we'll provide those resources as appropriate. Thanks, Murray. Uh, Samira, any other questions? Nope, no more questions at this time. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, and we can continue. All right. So what can the funds in an amalgamated save for college bank account be used for? NYC Kids Rise encourages families to dedicate this account to their child's higher education. There are no legal restrictions on how savings in this account may be used. If families need to withdraw money from this account for any reason, they can do so without paying a fee or penalty. What information do I need to open this account? To enroll in this type of account, the account owner will need a valid social security number, 
individual taxpayer identification number or W-8 certification. You also need a valid photo ID issued by a federal or state government agency or an IDNYC municipal ID. If using IDNYC, you will need to provide an additional proof of address, such as a utility or cable bill. You'll also need the address and date of birth. You'll need your child's name and date of birth. And finally, something that's recommended is your email address as well. Now note, like the New York 529 direct plan, amalgamated bank uses the IRS definition of resident alien. What are the tax benefits and or fees associated with this account? There are no tax benefits associated with this account. There are no monthly maintenance fees or costs with this account. There is no minimum balance or minimum amount to deposit for this account. However, if your account has $0 for more than nine months, Amalgamated may close it. To solve this problem, simply deposit a penny. You can deposit whatever amount you want and keep any amount you want in this account. There are no fees from withdrawing from your savings with this account. And remember to read the Amalgamated Bank Account Opening Disclosure for a full list of fees associated with this account. Excellent. So let's review what we have learned and then we will share next steps and resources. Samira is going to launch a final poll and I promise this is the final one. Uh, please answer it to the best of your ability. I wanna remind everyone again, the answers are completely anonymous. Thank you very much for taking the time. All right, just a few more seconds here, folks. I see some answers coming in. Love to see it. Okay, so Samira is going to stop the poll. Thank you very much for participating here. And let's quickly review poll number five about amalgamated bank. Let's start with number one. When I open an amalgamated bank account, my deposits are federally insured up to $250,000. 100% of you answered true. That is correct. Love to see it. Number two, if I want to take money out of my amalgamated bank account for purposes other than paying for college, I cannot do so. The correct answer here is false. Uh, and looks like the majority of you got that right there. And finally, number three, when I deposit money into my amalgamated bank account, it is invested in the market. The correct answer here is also false. And 71% of you got that correct. All right. So thank you very much for participating in this final poll. Now, before I share next steps and resources, I wanted to take a minute to share about building block three. Building block three is when you make your first deposit of $5 or more. As you can see, we have separated building block two 
which is opening and connecting your own savings account and building block three. This is because you do not need to make a deposit when you open an account. However, if you are ready to do so, you may do both building blocks two and building block three at the same time. Once you have completed building block three, you will receive another $25 reward for your child's NYC scholarship account. And you can continue to save in the ways and amounts that make sense for your family. Starting on the first day of first grade, you will also become eligible for the savings match, where the next $100 you save in your own savings account will be matched dollar for dollar by NYC Kids Rise in your child's NYC scholarship account. Again, there is no requirement to complete building block two and three together. However, if you want more information on how to complete building block three, we can share that with you as well. If you are interested in completing building block three, but are not sure how to make a deposit or start saving, please visit the building block three section of our downloadable resources webpage, which we will share more info about in the follow-up email. Now, if you see here on your screen, you will see some next steps and resources for you. To learn more about your options, review and download the Choose the Right Account tool handout in the Building Block 2 section of our webpage, or review our Getting Started Building Block 2 Open Savings Account webpage. You can also explore these other resources. You can call Amalgamated Bank at the number you see there, or visit a branch near you, or you can visit the New York 529 website or call the number on your screen, 877-NY-SAVE. If you are ready to take the next step and complete one or more of the three building blocks, call the New York City Kids Rise hotline at 833-543-7473 to make an appointment with our staff. You can email us at info at nyckidsrise.org to make an appointment or make a free financial counseling appointment at a local financial empowerment center by visiting the New York City Office of Financial Empowerment website or calling 311. Now, if you've already completed building blocks two, but not sure how to make your first $5 deposit and complete building block three, you can visit the building block three section of our downloadable resources webpage for, um, to view our tools there for you. Uh, now, you can feel free to take a screenshot of this, but again, we will be sending this information in a follow-up email. That way you can have everything at your disposal. Last, but definitely not least, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. If this information was helpful, please let another family know and tell them to go to nyckidsdrives.org slash events to find the time and day of the next session. As you leave the session, you will be presented with the opportunity to, oh, to fill out in a survey uh, telling us how we did today. Please, if you have a couple of minutes, feel free to uh, fill it out. We are always looking for feedback. Samira and I and the rest of the team are going to stick around for a few minutes in case you want to ask any other questions. But if not, once again, thank you for joining us. We hope you have a good night and we hope to see you again very soon at our next workshop. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, we have a question from a parent. Um, the question is, can you still receive all three rewards if you already have a 529 account open? Yeah, great question. Uh, so as long as it's a New York 529 direct plan account, this type of account can be connected to the NYC scholarship account, and you will still be eligible for all three building blocks. Just to add to that, um, as, as Sebastian mentioned, if you have a New York, if you have a New York 529 direct plan account and you connect it to your NYC scholarship account, you'll receive a $25 rewards. And then if you deposit at least $5 or more into your New York 529 direct plan account, 
you'll receive the um, third building block reward, which is $25 for that. So again, if you complete all three building blocks, you'll receive an additional $75 in your child's NYC scholarship account. Sebastian, looks like we have a similar question again. Um, if we already have a 529 account, how do we add those funds to our account? Um, so I'm assuming the parent is talking about scholarship accounts, or can you again just distinguish between the two accounts and who can deposit money into it? Yeah, so uh, like Samira just mentioned there, uh, the Safer College program is both a scholarship account program and a college and career savings account program. There are two parts to it. Uh, the NYC scholarship account is owned and operated by NYC Kids Rise. As a result, parents are not able to deposit any money into this account. Um, if you would like to or are interested in depositing and saving for your child's educational future, you can open your own college and career savings account. That way you can deposit as well as family, friends, and neighbors. Um, the money in the, both of these accounts are not interchangeable. Uh, money in one account doesn't go to the other. Uh, they stay separate. But again, it is for the benefit of your child and for their future educational use. I hope that answers uh, the question there. Thanks, Sebastian. Um, yep, actually we have, uh, looks like we have one more question. Um, are the coming sessions for the same presentation and material will be something different? And for those who haven't attended, shall we have recordings and materials on emails? Well, I can answer about the future of workshops. Um, so we'll have uh, a couple of different workshops coming up for sure, but for the choose the right college and career um, workshop, choose the right college and career savings account workshop, uh, the material will be the same. Um, Samira, if you wanna talk about any kind of uh, recording for this workshop that uh, will be available to parents, that would be great. Yes, we, were, we are recording this session today. Um, so we will have this recording available uh, later this week. So definitely visit New York City Kids Rise website, uh, which is right here on this screen. Um, you can see actually, Sebastian, can you go back? I think we have a slide with our website. One sec. Yep, so you can visit New York City Kids Rise org. And then you'll be able to see there's a section uh, with videos and the recording will be available on this um, section, hopefully by later, later this week. So you'll be able to, uh, to listen to it. So it looks like we have one more question from a parent. If I already have a saving, if I already have a saving for my son's college account in my bank, can I still be available to join this account from Kids Rise? Sorry, could, could you repeat that one more time, Samir? Yes, the parent is basically is asking that if they already have a some sort of a savings account uh, for their child at a bank, I'm assuming, they're asking if they can still join this program. I'm assuming, again, if they can have this scholarship account from Kids Rise. Yeah, it's, um, so a couple of things there, right? One, remember opening a college and career uh, savings account is something that's optional, not required to be a part of the program. Uh, so even if you don't decide to open an account, you, are, you can still be a part of the program as long um, as your child meets the eligibility requirements. Uh, now, if you're interested in connecting it to the NYC scholarship account, Right now, the only two options that we have available are those that we spoke about today, the New York 529 direct plan account um, and the amalgamated save for college bank account. Uh, if you have a different kind of account and are saving in it, of course, that's your choice. Um, and that's something that uh, you can definitely uh, do. And it's something, again, that's, that's your choice, but you won't be eligible uh, for the building blocks uh, rewards that come with connecting one of the two accounts 
that we have available, as well as some other additional rewards uh, that come, such as the savings match that we talked about today. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, we have one more question from a parent. Uh, can you please review the aspects of matching our savings? Um, so again, I think it's it's a savings match. If you can just help clarify that. Yeah, sure. Uh, so starting on the first day of first grade, uh, families are eligible for the savings match. So for every dollar that you save in their college and career savings account that's open for the benefit of your child, NYC Kids Rise will match dollar for dollar in the New York City scholarship account up to the first $100. So if you save a dollar in the account that you open, NYC Kids Rise will allocate a dollar into the NYC scholarship account up to the first $100. Thanks, Sebastian. I don't see any more questions. Okay, uh, let's maybe give a couple of seconds here if there are no more questions. We actually got um, another question, Sebastian. It's about the scholarship account. Um, the question is, does the scholarship account get invested into something as well, or it just sits in the account? Yeah, great question. Uh, so the NYC scholarship account is invested in a New York 529 direct plan account, just like the one we have been talking about today. So to answer your question, yes, it is invested in a New York 529 direct plan account. Sebastian, if you want to probably go back to that slide and just to show parents that, you know, as we discussed, it is invested in the market. Yeah. It could, you know, gain value. It could also lose value. Um, so once you receive information from us with your welcome kit and then welcome email, you can log in to see your child's NOC scholarship account. There we go. Uh, like we okay. don't have any other questions. Great, awesome. Well, parents, once again, thank you very much. Some excellent questions. Uh, I'm sure we all agree up here in the panel. Um, and again, you will be receiving a follow-up email. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. I like to say we have the friendliest staff in the world. Um, so please, 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 any additional questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Once again, have a good night. And on behalf of the whole NYC Kids Rise team, thank you very much for joining, and we will talk again very soon. Thank you.